Hey yo everyone, welcome back to another Terraria video. Today we are checking out the Spear Overhaul, made by the same people that made the Sorcery Overhaul and the Archery Overhaul, two mods that I love, really dope mods, they updated a lot and added in so much content to both the Archer and just Sorcery in general, and now we are here with the spear version now this is a work in progress i am checking it out pretty early uh, as you can see there's not too much content in it it does add in polished content up to the start of pre-hard mode but once you get to pre-hard mode there should be enough overall spears to do a whole playthrough honestly there is enough spears i think in vanilla terraria to do a regular playthrough but the thing is spears are kind of boring they're kind of one of the more boring and mundane subclasses not too many of them do unique things and the ones that do do unique things you kind of get them way later in the game but yeah let's go over some unique features that this mod adds in i'll go ahead and pop it up on the screen you can now right click to throw your your spears all spears are included vanilla ones too and the modded ones of course and they can be thrown by just right clicking there's also bleeding which thrown spears cause enemies to bleed and that causes projectiles to deal 20 percent more damage to enemies that are bleeding there's also spear ai spear ai was one of the biggest problems in vanilla terraria but no longer spears now have a small amount of aim assist which allows you to actually hit enemies and not constantly miss your attacks if you know the feeling of you pretty much damn near making contact with an enemy with a spear but it's not doing damage that's what that ai is for that happens a lot with spears especially the early game ones even some late game ones like the really long ones you get in late game they just don't hit sometimes it's like what's going on there's also auto swing for the modded spears not the vanilla ones but i play modded terraria so i have auto swing for literally everything all right let's get into it though we're gonna grab a couple of uh vanilla spears here got some uh, hard mode ones got some pre-hard mode ones just to show off the uh, throwing so we got the regular spears here i guess i should probably like see the auto aim a little bit i don't really know how the auto aim thing is gonna work i guess like you pretty much will make contact 99 percent of the time unless i literally go like this <laughs> and i'm not just swinging at him let me swing downwards not even if i'm swinging downwards i'll get a hit every now and then but yeah let's go ahead let's throw this spear look at that oh and it makes that nice little gushing bleeding noise amazing let's go ahead let's take out the dark lance oh now that's a good spear to throw one of the hardest things about doing a spear only playthrough is the wall of flesh bro the wall of flesh is a tough spear only boss especially if you play in like expert mode god forbid you play in master mode spear only and having the ability to throw spears which honestly just makes sense in my opinion let's go ahead let's see the late hard mode ones or not the late hard mode ones just the later game ones in general you throw a couple of them really fast i do actually like how there's different speeds for different spears like i'm throwing the north pole really slow compared to the gungnir maybe it depends on the uh speed of the spear itself probably like this has a slow speed yeah and as you can see each of them have their own like arc in how they throw which is also very cool we can't even see where these ones are going these ones go far as hell <laughs> before they drop down that's crazy all right but yeah that's the cool little feature there let's go ahead let's start checking it out the other spears the ones that the mod adds in got them in order here not a very specific order it's more of like damage honestly i did order this a lot more than i usually order things but let's start with the wooden pike here very simple recipe here we can go ahead and breeze over a bunch of the recipes look at that you got a nice easy recipe it's just made out of wood you want a reinforced one you get a couple more things boom bada bing you got a reinforced one you need a spearhead i got you right here 25 and 5 easy you need some leather for some of the armor that comes up later i got you easy two rotten chunks makes leather nice to see more mods using leather because terraria leather is pretty useless let's get to it though so we can see there's melee damage and spear damage. Very, very cool. Uh, thrown spears cause enemies to bleed, bleeding enemies. Okay, so that's probably going to say that on a couple of spears. Actually, no, it just says it on that one. All right, let's go ahead. Let's see it in action, though. Let's start with some throwing. You know, let's weaken them by hitting them with the throwing, and then let's get in there. Let's get down and dirty. Throw another one. Throw a couple. Boom, bada, bing. Dead bitch. All right, next up, we got the Frozen Halberd. Has a chance to inflict Frostburn. Frostburn is amazing. I wonder if it works on the right click. Oh, it does work on the throw. Very dope. This is honestly a great early game spear. Frostburn gotta be one of my favorite debuffs, bro. Next up, we got the Reinforced Pike, aka the stronger version of the Wooden Pike. Let's go ahead. Let's see it in action here. Get a couple throws in. Get a couple stabs in. Moving on to the Bramble Partisan. Is that how you say it? Partisan. 
Partisan. I think it's partisan. Partisan? Partisan. It might be partisan. It's definitely not partisan. That sounds like something you would sprinkle on like spaghetti. I'm thinking of Parmesan. <laughs> Releases a stinger every third strike. They're forgetting a they're forgetting a Y at the end of ever. Has a chance to poison enemies. Okay, every third strike releases a stinger. Very cool. Spears are very good crowd control weapons. You can stack up enemies, so having that little extra projectile shooting every now and then, very nice. Uh, the only bad thing is I chose the enemies that don't take poison damage. This seems to happen often when I'm testing things. Hold up, let's bring in something that does take poison damage. There we go. That zombie has poison damage. Beautiful. I was wondering if the stinger shot when you threw three spears, but no, it does not. Good to know. Next up, we got the hunter spear here. I might breeze over a couple of the recipes because this is probably going to be a shorter video. I'll, I'll breeze over all the recipes later. But yeah, let's see it in action here. Nice, good throwing damage. And then let's bring in a couple boys here just to see the regular damage. Damn, that thing has range. I feel like I was hitting that dude in the back. Pause on that statement. I feel like I was hitting the skeleton all the way in the back from far away. All right, next up, we got Victory. Slams enemies with marble explosions on impact, dealing area damage. Beautiful. Let's see the throwing in action here. Very, very nice. Honestly, it looks really cool. I like how there's like actually particles behind them. Uh, this one didn't have one. I'm pretty sure all of them didn't have particles except for like ones that actually are like imbued with some sort of power. So it's nice seeing that little extra detail. But yeah, let's go ahead, let's summon in a couple here and let's see this explosion, nice. If you wanna make a Terraria weapon look good, very simple thing you do. You add in a lot of particles, a lot of effects to it and it makes the weapon way cooler. You wanna make a weapon even cooler above that? You start adding screen shake. Shout out Starlight River. All right, there you go. There was that first batch of spears. Let's go ahead and grab the last four here. Of course, we've got our Crimson and Corruption variants, our Hellstone one, and of course, a Dark Flame Lance version. I'm interested to see what the recipe for this one is. Ah, okay, okay. Let's see him in action here. What does this one do? Cast a blast of blood energy each time the spear is thrusted. Let's go ahead. Let's see the right click. Nice. I kind of wish there was a little bit of, uh, you know, particles on this, like bloody particles behind it, blood dripping when you throw this one. Feel like I feel like that makes sense for a crimson one, you know. But very cool. Like the little extra attack that comes in with this one. I wonder how much damage that does alone. It does a good bit of damage, and it also pierces. It looks like, which is pretty damn good that's literally what spears are for is piercing all right demon slayer's toll gate cast a demonic blast of energy each time the spear is thrusted very similar to the crimson carnage uh let's go ahead let's get the right click casted and then let's see let's see the left click beautiful as always let's get in close you know get those up close and personal hits all right moving on to the hell knight thruster lights enemies ablaze i feel like i could have figured that one out let's go ahead let's see the right click though beautiful as always, I love the right click. Honestly, this is this is dope to add in the ability to throw spears. Very nice. Let's go ahead and see the left click, which is ooh. It's got a nice little sound, different sound that plays. I like that a lot. This one's really fast. Might be one of the faster ones we've used yet. That or just like the noise is giving it a placebo, making it feel faster. And last but not least, the Dark Flame Lance. Destroys your opponent's soul. Damn. Leaves a trail of demon scythes. Oof. Now this is dope as fuck. This is the type of weapon I need for the Wall of Flesh right here. And then go ahead and mix in the right click. The right click looking super cool. Let's go ahead. Let's see it in action. Amazing. Honestly any anything that pierces like this because this projectile pierces that might be better against the wall of flesh low key and like expert you need that piercing against the wall of flesh and expert i feel like helps out a lot you know get past all the hungries that regenerate but yeah let's go ahead let's see this one in action let's throw a couple more spears and then let's get the left click in there i'm trying to see this left click do damage oh my god i think honestly this warrants our first boss and probably our only boss with something in but whatever let's do it king slime meet the dark flame lance doing great damage keep in mind this world is like super buffed <laughs> most of the time because i have so many mods installed i've killed so many bosses on this world like sometimes i'd be fighting regular enemies and their health will be at like 500 out of nowhere it's weird but yeah there you go king slime dead amazing 
That's with no accessories, no reforges, no nothing. Nice and easy fight. It is the King Slime, though. Let's not give it uh, too much credit. Yeah, there you go. There was all the spears. Let's go ahead. Let's check out the accessories and the armors now. Let's start with the armors. I have no comments on the sprites. The sprites are beautiful. Usually, the sprites from the overhaul mods are beautiful. Uh, we got this tribal one. Dope. Let's go ahead. Let's read through it here. Gives us a bunch of increase in damage. Critical strike chance. Movement speed, of course, on the leggings. And then the set bonus is spear knockback increase. Throwing spears leave a trail of poisonous gas. Poisonous gas deals a third of your spear damage. Very, very nice. You love to see unique set bonuses. Let's uh let's bring out like a normal spear here. It's gonna be easier to see the projectiles it leaves behind or the gas trail it leaves behind. Very cool. Alright, and let's check out the Hell Knight one. Go ahead and put that on looks cool we got a little cape on us too very nice uh go ahead and go over all the damage here and then of course the set bonus spearheads explode on enemy contact Jeez, god damn let's see these explosions i'm trying to see some explosions i think it's just a left click that applies oh got a little like tornado looking effect on it that's dope as hell i like that very nice all right let's go ahead let's take everything off put the mushroom outfit back on because you know I, I was getting cold i was feeling cold without the mushroom fit on all right but yeah let's go ahead let's check out the accessories there's only two of them implemented and then there's this one uncoded dev item i mean we might as well read it real quick hell knight gauntlet has got some melee damage some spear damage increases spear size increases throwing spear by velocity spear penetration increased by two melee attacks light enemies ablaze god damn this thing does everything i'm assuming this accessory once it's fully implemented is going to be like a bunch of accessories in one that sounds like that makes sense that or is just a really good ass accessory but yeah let's check out the ones that are implemented the feral glove and the tribal gauntlet the feral glove adds in some melee damage spear damage it increases the throne velocity uh i don't think it has a sprite when you put it on your character sadly i really like when mods add in sprites on your character for example you know these thorium boots right here look at that but maybe in the future they'll do that yeah let's see it in action oh that spear velocity felt good you saw how hard i threw that shit all right and then let's check out the tribal gauntlet uh increases melee damage spear damage increases spear size increases stone spear velocity spear penetration increased by one dope so that means even with the throw oof i can hit through multiple enemies that's amazing and of course the spear is also bigger very very nice i like that you can really see the uh spear ai when i knock enemies off like look at this Look how the spear like pointed downward without me having to point downwards. Very nice. A little, little detail with the spear AI. But yeah, there you go. That was pretty much everything in the mod. Again, work in progress. They're adding more content, of course. Quickly, let's go ahead. Let's run through a bunch of the recipes here. Boom, there's that. And then boom, there's that. You need the uh, feral glove to go into it cool we got the armor very simple recipe for the armor just you know hellstone silk and then we got the tribal armor also a very simple recipe who the hell is this this dude is bothering me get out of here and then most of the spears really the recipes are not too bad they do require a little bit of effort but i'd rather require a little bit of effort than no effort at all as you can see really not bad recipes honestly balanced i don't really know can you say a recipe is balanced i mean as long as you're not making something out of dirt that's op right it would be a fairly balanced recipe then but yeah i like how this uh dark flame lance one combines the thruster and the dark lance very nice very cool but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed the video make sure to check out the mod it's a dope mod all the overhaul mods are dope also make sure to follow the twitch channel make sure to subscribe to the second channel where i post all the twitch streams that you miss on there i'm high key running out of streams i've been posting streams from like two or three years ago at this point <laughs> which is crazy to think of that's how that's how fast i caught up on that channel after like not posting for like months on there also make sure to follow me on tiktok just game raiders no 101 just game raiders same thing with instagram but that one is game raiders 101 follow me both on tiktok instagram twitter i post a lot of funny things on uh tiktok and instagram i'm posting a lot of uh, funny moments on there yeah hope you guys enjoyed the video i'll see y'all next time